Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, this is 1920 Gaming. This is our manager's journey. We're still here with Warsaw, as you can see. And of, of course, this is FIFA 20 career mode. And I want to thank you all for taking time out of your day to stop by and watch this again. Uh, it means a lot to me. And as you can see, today's episode is absolutely a huge one. We have a cup final. We've got a massive game, which is almost like a cup final against QPR. And then that old dangerous thing where we face the same team twice in quick succession. Uh, we can't afford to lose the final and obviously we can't afford to drop points in the league either. Uh, also, as well as those uh, three games, we are going to do the Rochdale game as well. And then that leaves a nice little warm-up game against uh, Rotherham uh, before we go back into the FA Cup against Sheffield United. And then, depending on time constraints, uh, that might be the final video as well. We might just, after them games, finish the whole season off. Uh, but that's for another day. Today, we've got an absolutely huge episode that I'm really pumped for. It doesn't get much bigger than a uh, uh, kicking off uh, episode with a cup final. And then, like I said, that absolutely massive game against QPR in the league. And it leaves with a uh, leaves us with a little bit of a dilemma here. Um, I took a couple of days away because of work before I came back to this one, but I've not been able to stop thinking about it. And I'm like, because we've got a cup final, and then such a huge game that follows it in the league. Uh, what sort of lineup do we go with for this game? I kind of want to put the strongest out there because I want to win the league. But if I do, uh, I want to win the cup. Sorry, but. If then I go and do that, and we haven't got enough uh, of our strong players to then play against QPR in the league, uh, we could get stung there. And it's like, ah, just what do I do? And still right now, as you can see, it's taken a bit of time to put this team together because I've not figured it out. I want to go strongest in both, but there's just not enough uh, time between this game and the QPR one. So I'm like, do I mix and match, um, put half of our strongest out and then like make it up with half fringe players? I just don't know. I, I really don't know. Uh, maybe what I'll do is, because we're in such good form, is put a lot of fringe players out, see how the game goes and have the strongest on the bench. That might make the most sense. Um, I think that's what we will do and then hopefully if we don't need to use any of the strong players we want uh, that's probably the best way of going about it guys so without any more messing about let's get into this cup final
Okay then, so here we go guys, uh, we're at Wembley, we're in the cup final, I targeted this again as one that I wanted to win at the beginning of the season, um, I never in my wildest dreams figured that we would be in such a tight title race this season, so it has given us that little bit of dilemma of uh, team selection, but we're here now, uh, of course we want to win. We always want to win, but especially when you get to a cup final, you just can't even imagine what it'd be like to lose. We might be in earlier. We still could be in earlier. No, we kind of wasted that, really. There should have been a shot on goal somewhere there. But we've got it back again. we got Tremblay. That uh, was meant for Morgan, but the game selected uh, someone else. And Sunderland get away with that one early. But good bright start from us. It's a nice sunny day as you can see uh, here at Wembley. Um, so yeah, we've got to enjoy this. But more than anything, we've got to win it. Uh, we've got Sunderland on the attack here now. They've, oh, some of their players look pretty tired as well. Which is good because we've got full um, fresh players out there. That's a decent bit of control there from Ito. We've got Morgan running through. We've got Gomez going through. This could really be 1-0 already. Oh, what a save from the keeper. I really thought that was 1-0. He's had made an absolutely blinding save there to tip that onto the crossbar. I can't quite believe that has not gone in. But again, it's a good start from us here. Really good start. And we've just kept the ball since that. Uh, I still can't get over that save from the keeper. But we might be in and yet again here now already. Nice turn from Gomez. Here's Morgan. And of course, I don't need to just say what I was going to say. Because I say it every time he scores. Which has been a lot of times this season. This guy is just absolutely unreal. Big player. Big moment. He's got three there. Ran straight beyond the two defenders. He run between them both. Neither of them went with him. Wasn't with his left foot this time, but that doesn't even matter. And that's his first goal, because I think that is his first game in the leasing trial for this season. And within 15 minutes, we are 1-0 up against Sunderland. What a start. We couldn't really have asked for more. It could have been two if it weren't for that. It's probably the save of the season, that I would, I would imagine. But we still, we're moving the ball nicely. We're still moving it uh, full of confidence. I can't remember the last time we dropped a game, to be honest. Probably shouldn't say that until after the end of the season, really. But yeah, we've been brilliant. Um, absolutely brilliant. And we have been again so far here. We've got Harrison in now. Morgan's free again, and it's two. We hit them once, and then we hit them again. And that could be that already. 20 minutes in. Morgan's loving his day out at Wembley. We're loving our day out. It's been a really sprightly start. We've been bright. We've been creative. We've created chances. It could have been three, um, but two will more than do. He's just slotted that right into the corner. Absolutely no chance for the keeper. Probably sees it late. Tremblay does well to jump over it while he's blinding the keeper. And we are 2-0 up and we're absolutely in dominant fashion yet again. And Sunderland have to kick the game off again. Two down in 20 minutes. Though I can't imagine they would have seen that one coming. And we're coming again here now. We could write the game off right here. But this time Tremblay's blocked off. It's been a brilliant opening half an hour from us so far. Uh, Gomez has got the ball now. He's found Morgan again. He's cut back onto that left foot. But just couldn't get the shot away this time. Neither could Tremblay. And it comes to nothing this time. Sunderland whack it clear. It's turned out to be a half decent ball that. Has he got through there? No, he's not. He is now though. Um, McGow McGow has got through. I don't know how you say his name. He's played it back to you. No, we need to get back in shape here now. Morgan going out to him. No, he's not. McKeith went out to him. They're moving the ball so nice and quick here. We can't get anywhere near him. Oh, what a goal that is. Sometimes you just got to hold your hands up. That was a brilliant move. The passing was nice that led up to it. And then as they got closer to the box, they just went through the gears. We couldn't get anywhere near them. And that is their first shot at goal. And they are right back in this game now. Again, there's nothing really. I couldn't react quick enough. That all happened so fast. 
Uh, they just went through the gears, one, two touch passing, and those straight back in. It's a bit disappointing, that's a little blemish on what's been a brilliant start, but there's no need for us to get off track or downbeat about it, because that's all they've done all game at the moment. We just need to go and find ourselves another goal probably now, just to regain total control of this match. And that's a nice little 1-2 play, and there could be in again here, it's 4 against 3 as it stands, but they've gone backwards thankfully. They're still going with this 1-2 touch though. It's nice play again here, they're just finding so much space between the lines at the moment, it's quite worrying. We cannot get that ball off them. The cross finally comes in, it's headed clear by Big McKeith though. And again, only for it to come straight back at us. There's another cross coming here. This time Williams gets it away. Can we hit them now on the counter? It's come out to Ito. He's just got to pop it off to Morgan. That's the ball. And now out to Moreno. Oh, Harrison, sorry. That's a great ball in. The keeper's got there again. Their keeper has had a really good game. This first half, he's almost kept them in it on his own. Uh, he told her with a nice little bit of skill and a drop of the shoulder but again it comes to nothing and it's whack clear but remember that's how they got their goal it was just a clearance that turned out to be a really good ball and they built on it from there we're almost at half time now though and in the main we've completely dominated the ball in this that's a great little ball from Harrison to Williams there a couple of little step overs it's back to Harrison again Morgan wanted it but a lot earlier than that, Kinsella could hit one maybe from here, Harrison just stepped into a bit of space but uh, Morgan was blocked off and that is it for the first half guys. So we've rejoined the game just an hour in and even though Sunderland have the ball right at this point we have totally battered them in the first 15 minutes of this half. Uh, we've created a few really good chances but we've been unable to take them uh, this has been the longest bout of possession that these have actually had uh, one change uh, for us we took Morgan off at uh, half time but on Taylor which is a bit of a risk but I've got to start thinking about that QPR game as well um, even though like I said these are still in this game we have dominated it to be fair so I'm hoping that it's not too much of a risk and I think that was their goal scorer that they've just took off as well um, yeah so I'm hoping that even without Morgan we can still get the job done here at the moment um, since we've come back though it's been Sunderland that have been having the play um, but yeah it's still 2-1 we're going to play this out short and yeah, hopefully re now we've got the ball regain control of the half. As I say that though, uh, it's been harder to keep hold of the ball in this half than it was in the first. And just as I say that and we come back, we now find that it's 2 all, and I think I may have underestimated the amount of influence Morgan was having in the centre of the park. Because since he's come off we've not looked the same. That's a great ball in. It's a great volley as well, maybe the keeper could have come for it in hindsight, but other than that, they have scored two really good goals, as we did, and now uh, we have to change things again, and we're going to have to go to the bench if we want to win this, uh, I didn't really want to, but what can I do, uh, Gomez comes off for Harris, I think it was. Uh, this guy is from the Youth Academy, but he's really highly rated. Uh, that's why he's coming on. And again, we've still got to have QPR in mind. Uh, I really don't want to bring on first team players if I don't have to. But uh, at the moment, the game does feel like it's just slipping away. Um, we seem to have lost our way a bit. Uh, we need to get it back quickly because we really could do with our extra time in this one as well. Um, but if it's a choice between that and losing, obviously I'd take the extra time. But we could do without it with this QPR game right around the corner. Um, yeah, we just need to find ourselves another goal. And we could find one here with Harrison. 
He's turned back nicely there. And here is Harris. He's played it to Tremblay. And it's off the post. Oh, that's frustrating. I thought for sure he was going to score from there. Ah, oh, that could be the difference. It really could. We don't do anything with the corner really either. We have recycled it though with McKeith here. Harrison again takes his man on and beats him. Taylor's got it now. He's played it back to Harrison. Back to Harris. We should be shooting here. McKeith has got it. It's a decent ball out to Ito. That's got to come back inside now. He's turned back in. He's found Taylor. And it's a penalty. We've got a penalty with five and a half minutes of normal time left. Oh, he's, he's not getting a card but we've got the penalty this is a huge moment now absolutely huge we're gonna let um, not Harris, Harrison take it because of the form that he's been in in front of goal this season and especially in this competition we really need this to go in it's green timed but the keeper saves it anyway Oh man, I hope the game doesn't turn on that now. We've had really good chances, two of them now, and we've not put either of them away. That chance for Tremblay, and now the penalty. They, we need to just keep our composure now, keep playing. We seem to have regained control of the game a little bit, which is good news. We've just got to stick one away. Harris was in there this time, and it's blocked. I think it seems as though Sunderland might just be happy with extra time at the moment. They've dropped really, really deep as you can see. They're right on the edge of their own box. Um, which is allowing us to create. Uh, we've got to stick these chances away. Like Harris has done really well here. And it's side netting. That's another big chance gone begging. Oh, how many more are we going to get? The time is running out. I can see this going to extra time. Tremblay gets it again. But he can't bring it down this time. Uh, defender's too close to him. Darcy has it now. Uh, it's to Maguire, to O'Neill. It'd be just like this type of game now for these to just create one and bang it in in the last minute. That's good defending from Baker. Ah, oh, thankfully he went through to the keeper. And that's going to be full time, I reckon. It is indeed. And it is 2 2 at the end of full time. So we're into the first half of extra time. We're a few minutes in now. Uh, it has been Sunderland who have had all of the ball since the game's kicked back off. We've really struggled to get anywhere near them. They've got a few men over here as well now, but they're not needed. Ah, win 3-2 down from 2-0 up. I can't quite believe what's happened. It's Luke Olnien. No, I don't know. Um, but whoever it is, he might be a Sunderland hero at the minute. Now we're going to have to completely change what we've been doing all game. Because uh, we completely against the clock now. Kinsella there, back to Tremblay again, but it's run. He's run straight into the defender. Uh, I can't believe we're behind in this game. I really can't. We don't deserve to be. I mean, they've had moments, and the goals that they've scored have been good ones. But we dominated the first half. We got ourselves in front. Uh, continued even after they scored to control the game they come back into it in the second half definitely it's probably a mistake by myself to take Morgan off so early but I did not foresee this coming I've got to be honest we could end up being in even bigger trouble here now because uh, this guy he's got no energy left but he's still influencing the game Tomori does well there though Taylor now up to Harrison, it's back inside for Harris. Ian, we need Tremblay to go now. He needs to find Ito here, but the pass is blocked. That could have been a good chance there, but it's gone begging. And we are now at half time, extra time, and we are behind. And we've got just 10 minutes left to rescue this game now. We're not playing as well as we have been all game because we're trying to force things to happen now as time's running out. 
That's a nice little give and go between Harrison and Tremblay there though, but it's blocked. The ball back's blocked. The fans there are like a bit bewildered as to what's going on as well. They're not really used to losing these days. That's a decent ball in, but it's a good punch away from the keeper. It's back out to Harrison again, but it's whacked away again. Time is definitely running out now. We've just got to keep pushing forward, keep pushing and pushing, and hopefully something will come for us. That's a decent little run from Taylor. He's gone over, but there's no penalty this time. Um, we try to get the ball back up the pitch straight away, but it's blocked again. Sunderland are proving really difficult to break down at the moment now. They're sitting so deep. It might be a case of having to go to the bench, you know. Tremblay's found a bit of room here. He's Harris from the Youth Academy and he's rescued it. It's young Harris. I can't believe it. Out of everyone on the pitch. We took Gomez off for him, which was a bit of a risk. But he's come up trumps. He's made a great little run. And he has took his chance when everyone else has been missing his tuckies. He just busts a gut to get in there. It's a great little ball behind the defender from Tremblay. And young Harris has a goal. And what a massive goal it is as well. And now can we nick one before the dreaded shootout? There's not long left. Hopefully that might have swung momentum back our way. Because Sunderland can't really just sit there now. They're going to have to come and try and find another as well. Which they're doing almost straight away. Oh, that's a great little turn. That was a great turn. He's chipped it off. Our keeper gets a little fist on it, thankfully. And we whack it clear. Ito's done well there, but Harris, uh, Tremblay, sorry, couldn't bring it down. And this could be full time. I think it will be, even if we get the ball back now. We need to, though, so I can't score. And it is, it's a penalty shootout to decide the fate of the cut. Oh man, I didn't see that coming when we were 2-0 up and coasting. What a draining kind of game this has been. The dominance is there for all to see, but at the end of the day, it was 3-3 at the end. First penalty and it's saved. Oh my lord. Come on, Ito. Come on, lad, bang it in. Yes, we're 1-0 up. What a save that was from Brown for the first penalty. Can he get to this one? He can get to this one. Oh, come on, McKeith. If he bangs this in, we're in total control of the shootout. Come on, oh, he's put it wide. Damn it. It's down to the keeper again, but this time he's gone the wrong way. And we are at 1-1, but we technically still ahead if this goes in. There's a lot of power on this one. But he's absolutely bang that on in Kinsella, making it 2-1. It's Robson for Sunderland now, and it's another save from the keeper. What a shootout Brown's had here. I think if we score this, it may well be over. Pressure's on Taylor, who is absolutely gassed. He's got nothing left. He's going straight down the middle, and the keeper saves it. Come on, Brown. What a shootout this guy has had. He's definitely the hero if we win this one. They've gone down the middle as well and he saved that one as well. He saved four out of the five Sunderland penalties. What an absolute hero. It's our cut. Uh, it's mainly down to Brown when he went to the penalties. A one keeper's always going to be the hero. But he saved four out of the five penalties. That's absolutely an amazing display. And I'm just going to leave you guys here with the celebration.
and there we go so after that absolute madness of a final we've got to reset ourselves now bring that enjoyment back on to some kind of level because serious business to take care of here um we could i suppose go with a draw here and that would be all right for us but if we can beat these now we move three points ahead of them with not many games left at all um, so this is a huge, huge game. As you can see, uh, there's hardly anything between us. We've got that extra magical point from the goal difference. I mean, we're 20 goals ahead of them on that at the moment. Um, but yeah, uh, this game is absolutely massive. It's probably bigger than the two earlier in the season. Because to take a three-point lead now at this point would be absolutely amazing uh, the wonders for the confidence the psychology just being able to relax that little bit um knowing that if the worst come to the worst we could actually afford one slip whereas if uh, it ends in a draw we can't even afford that slip so it would just take that bit of pressure off and maybe make the end of the season a bit more enjoyable with a little less pressure on the games. As you can see again here now, just like in the first game, uh, we're putting as good a squad together as we can. We're obviously going to have some tired legs in some positions after going the full 120 minutes in the game before. This is the exact reason why I did bring Morgan and Gomez off, so they would be fit enough to play at least a small part in this one. Um, and yeah, I think that looks like the team that we're going to end up going with. So again, without any messing about, we've just had one huge cup final, and it sort of feels like we've got another one right here now. Uh, we're going to make Morgan the captain, obviously. He's the man in form. And that's, yeah, that's going to do it. We're going to jump into this one now. We're going to do the press conference as well because it's obviously a massive game. And, yeah, I will see you guys at kickoff.
And here we go guys, we're on the way again for another absolutely huge game. This one could decide where the league ends up going at the end of the season. And uh, we are trying, as you can see here, to get straight on the front foot. Uh, we beat them at their place. Now we're looking to beat them at ours and we nearly went 1-0 up already there. That's exactly the kind of start that we were looking for. Uh, it'd been better if it went in, but we've showed our intent to them there. Uh, Giles should have that in the bag, and he does. But what the heck has Tamori done there? That's bad. That is bad. Oh, this could be end up being really bad. But we do get it clear. And Gomez comes steaming in but can't quite get there this time. Morgan heads it away. And I suppose you would have to say this has been a pretty even start. We go down there, almost score. They get the ball in our end and we just can't get it back off them at the moment. They come again here with this Asura old guy. Who's been absolutely banging for him all season. Whenever we've seen the results going up it's all pretty much always had his name next to their goals. But we could have them on the counter here now with Moreno. We stretch the defence out. He's going for the byline. He's rolled that challenge. He's not really got any support of such at the moment now. So he's gone all the way back. But at least now we've got QPR pinned in for a minute or two. So uh, in the next 10 minutes there's been pretty much more of the same. It's starting to become more of an end-to-end -end game. We've got Moreno here who has actually been pulled down. Kane slid in, it was probably ill-advised, Moreno weren't really going anywhere as such. But I suppose the heat at the moment in a game as intense as this, as you can see there, he just, just trip him. And once again, after that shootout, we find ourselves with a penalty. This time Morgan's going a different way to what he would normally, and he's paid for it, it's saved. What a save that was as well. He tried to whip it back into the opposite corner that he'd normally go for and it just did not work. And the corner gets headed over as well. That could be a huge moment in the season. Uh, that penalty, a really, really huge moment. We can't moan at Morgan. He's been brilliant all season long. His goals are the reason where we probably are where we are. Um, so yeah, he was due a mistake, we've got to cut him some slack now that he's made one, but it could be a massive point in the game and in the season that we've just got to keep our composure and keep creating, that's all we can do at this point. Remember we're not the team really that needs the win uh, as such this season, uh, this game round sorry, but it would be nice to have that little bit of breathing room. That's a nice little one-two there from QPR. The clearance has gone absolutely nowhere. This doesn't feel good. He's gonna sh no, he's not gonna shoot. Oh, that's nice little ball movement as well. It's headed away by Fosu this time. But they've got it back again here with Manning. Ball's coming in again. Fosu heads it clear again, but it's gone nowhere again. Good save from Nicholson. And now uh, maybe we can bring the ball away with Giles. Which we have successfully managed to do. Good bounce of possession here. That's a nice ball from Morgan. He's got it back from Gomez. And he's put it in this time. He might have missed the penalty. But he's made up for it. He's got himself back in a shooting position. On that left foot. And he makes no mistake this time. Keeper can't get to it this time. It's a nice little give and go from Morgan and Gomez. And bang. There you go. He's been doing that all season. And that is an absolutely massive, massive, massive goal for us. Keeper's got no chance. It's just beyond the post at the side netting. It's a brilliant finish from Morgan. The 25th time he's done it in the league this season. This man has been absolutely on fire. And that is an absolutely huge goal. A huge one. All we've got to do now, that's it, is win the ball back and get to half-time probably with this lead intact. It was so easy to concede when you've just scored on this game. But I think we're more right now. We've just got to have a little bat of possession. See this half out and then go again in the second. And that's just exactly what we have done guys. Um, we've controlled the end of the first half. 
up until this point we've been in uh, we've been in control of this half this is probably a little five minute spell that they're having at the moment but um, they've not really threatened up until that shot and the corner's headed clear again can Lorenzi get this first there's no one anywhere near him oh there is someone near him oh but he's beating beautifully he's in behind him now uh, Kane can't pull him again he's already gave away one penalty and what I think we've got another one it looks and sounds like we've got another one the refs told him he's not going to have any more of this I don't know what it's been given for that is a soft one I'll take it but that one is soft and what's Morgan going to do this time is he going to go his normal way or is he going to whip it? try and whip it again he is going to try and whip it again and this time he makes no mistake the keeper again goes the right way it wasn't like time perfectly by myself but it's gone in Morgan now just kissing his badge that's what we want to see a product of the youth academy absolutely proud of where he's playing and so he should be the season he's having there's some power in that one it really is that's a really good penalty it's hit the side netting first as well out of the reach of the keeper he had no chance with that one and that is some breathing space that is much needed and we might well now be on our way to getting three points out of this one uh, as Morgan bangs in his 26th of the season but yeah we could be on our way to three huge points and the way that the season's going and ending at the moment oh hold on they might be in here no they're not thank god for that uh, Nicholson's just taking his time here now and we bring it away again but yeah as I was saying the three points in this game the way the season's going and ending we're ending it so strongly that to be the three points up and have the goal difference advantage dare I say it it could decide the fate of the title but we've still got to get through this one yet there's still a bit, quite a bit of time left in this one yet as Morgan was going for his hat trick there and they could be through on the counter here now thankfully my man's turned back no he hasn't pretty sure this chair guy scored past us the last time that we played he's done really well there but well, I was going to say they've not found a way through but they have cross is cut out and they've got a corner yeah I'm just showing there Gomez has had a brilliant game today and they're making changes now before the corner comes in here it comes, we need to head this away, we have headed it away and can Leco beat us or oh, he can and that's a brilliant first touch from him and we could just keep running now, just keep on running down this wing and that's exactly what he is doing he's had the strength to ride the tackle but he just couldn't find the pass at the end of it we're in the last minutes now uh, we're just headed into injury time Moreno could have shot there but he's chose not to try to find Morgan for the hat trick but it didn't happen we could still be in here though that was a nice little one two play there and that is full time we've beaten QPR whole man away this season and that could be the difference uh, in where the league title has gone we've put ourselves in a really really strong position here now um, it's ours to lose now for once we're in total control but that is going to do it for me for this one guys um, we've got another game against Sunderland and Rochdale highlights left uh, if you've enjoyed the episode as normal please leave that like and subscribe uh, if you've got any suggestions or anything you'd like to see the comment box is below have a great day guys, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one, bye.